Hello, First United Methodist Church of Orlando. It's great to be here with you on this Wednesday, September 1st. It's a new day, a new week, a new month. Um, it's good to be here with you for our midweek devotional. Last week, my husband and I went on vacation. Thank you for letting us take some time off. Uh, we traveled up to Virginia and stayed in uh, the Shenandoah Valley and uh, three days went on day hikes in Shenandoah National Park. And the first of our day hikes, I, I chose the hike and I, I was like, oh, why don't we do this Hazel River Falls hike? Our dog's name is Hazel and thought it's appropriate for us to do this hike that has um, Hazel in the name. And the hike was about six miles. And part of the hike, you were uh, going to hike to some waterfalls. So what this entailed, uh, you know, we are going on our hike, we get to the part where the, you do the turn off to go to where the waterfalls are. And the waterfalls are at the river, which is kind of down below us on the hiking trail. And so we had to hike down to the river to see the waterfalls. Hiking down was fine. It was enjoyable. Water was beautiful. The falls were nice. We stopped, had some water, a little snack. And then we got ready to hike back up. And that's when I realized I had made a grave mistake. Uh, I had chosen this hike and, um, and I realized that I chose poorly uh, because it was a very steep incline. And uh, we had to hike back up to the trail uh, that then would take us back to the parking lot where our car was. And as I'm like hiking and I'm, you know, lifting my legs up and uh, climbing up these rocks um, as part of the trail, I just kind of was frustrated and kind of grumbling to myself like, oh gosh, it was so much easier going down, right? It's always so much easier walking downhill or going downhill, um, driving downhill than it is going uphill. As I was hiking uphill, I thought of a series of Psalms. Psalm 120 to Psalm 134 are called the pilgrimage Psalms or songs. And these were songs and poems uh, that the pilgrims would sing and recite as they made their pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Jerusalem and the temple, they are up high, they are up on a mount, they are up the hill. And so really anybody that was not living in Jerusalem already that was traveling to Jerusalem had to go up. And so they would sing and they would recite these poems as a way to uh, pray on their way up the hill and probably to help keep them going, right? To have some momentum, to have some motivation, to encourage themselves as they were going up the, the steep path to the temple. Psalm 121 is one of the more famous of these pilgrimage psalms. It says, I raise my eyes toward the mountains. Where will my help come from? So as I was hiking last week in Virginia, as I was looking up the hill, looking up the steep path that I was climbing, I kept thinking, I raise my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. I'm standing here in front of one of the stairwells here at church. And if you've ever climbed this stairwell, it is very steep. And in fact, the second set um, going up to the second floor after the landing is really steep, really straight. Um, I try to avoid going up these stairs as much as possible. I'll go down them, but I don't like to go up them. But even when I go up these, these steps, I think to myself as I'm looking up, looking at the landing, looking up at the second floor, I raise my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Friends, maybe you are walking uphill today, maybe literally, but maybe metaphorically. Maybe you are struggling. Maybe there is some task that is before you that feels too big, uh, too steep, too high, too much for you. Perhaps you feel like you've been walking uphill, trudging uphill for a long time now. Um, as we've been living in a season of pandemic where so much is different um, and so much just feels harder <laughs> and it feels like, you know, the world is so chaotic all around us. 
it feels like we're trudging uphill. Do we lift our eyes to the hills? Do we lift our eyes to the Lord? Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So friends, my encouragement for you today is as you are going about your work, as you are going about whatever it is that's on your to-do list today, um, that you lift up your eyes. Perhaps uh, lift your eyes up from whatever it is you're reading or looking at or this video, for instance, um, and look up. Look to God. For God is the maker of heaven and earth. Lift up your eyes to the Lord. The Lord is our strength and our source of help. As you lift up your eyes, as you turn your attention to God today, uh, may you be um, encouraged, may you be strengthened, um, may you get a glimpse of, of, of God and of what God is doing in the world, of how God is right there with you, journeying right alongside you every step of the way. I lift my eyes up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And your help does too. Friends, you are loved. May you experience God's unconditional love today. May you be strengthened and enveloped in God's grace. Until we see each other, you are loved. And I'm praying for you. Take care.